Witam wszyscy. Nowe wideo mamy dzisiaj. Myślę jeszcze, że ja gdzieś poszłem na wakacje, ale nie, jestem tu znowu. Szczęśliwego nowego roku. I odwrotnie do angielskiego, bo most my audience is English. So, hey guys, you thought I was gone, but actually we back here. Um, you know, we're back grinding, you know. Uh, have a happy new year, guys. Uh, let's, you know, hope you guys enjoyed a little Polish intro. Go Poland. Um, had a little chat with uh, JW Knives um, over my, my short time that I've been here. I believe I'm going home soon. Um, okay, I, I can't flip. But also, I only have this comb, do. <gasps> Excuse me. It's pretty early in the morning. Um, that's not true. It's not early in the morning. I was just up longer than I wanted to be. Um, but yeah, we've been, we've been flipping this comb for better part of like a week and uh and yeah i mean it's you know it's dawned on me it's nowhere near as bad as i thought but it's also definitely not good um how does it do short stops uh, does it even do short stops it does do short stops um so yeah i mean i wouldn't recommend this for learning all sorts of tricks But it does do all sorts of tricks, you know, if it's all that's in your budget and you want something that's got a bit of weight to it. Oh, excuse me, guys. I'm going to do a budget. Um, yeah, I mean, go for it. But uh, yeah, I am back. Um, we've got some very exciting videos coming soon in the new year. Like, trust me, guys, you're going to want to be excited because uh, I've not seen any footage of this so far um, in Western media platforms. Um, hint, hint, Medusa, hint, hint. Um, well, I wish it was a real one. Um, but, um, that's kind of coming soon. And then also we have some other stuff lined up. Uh, just a quick little note. Um, I do also intend on opening a UK and Europe. In fact, it'll be a global thing, but I mean, for the most convenient ones, uh, it will really be a UK and Europe anodizing service, um, which will most likely be launching in March time, uh, simply because in January would be when I'm setting everything up, you know, getting all the back end kind of stuff done. You know, practicing a bit more, getting some of the equipment that I'm missing. Uh, February, I'm actually away, basically, the whole month, um, from the 4th until the 27th. Um, I'm actually away on an actual holiday, one that I planned. Um, you will still see Balaton content. Um, I will have to kind of stretch out a bit of what we can include in January um, versus some new stuff in February, uh, simply because, uh, you know, I think that I do about, what, 12 videos in a month, roughly? Um... And so I'm going to need about that for, for February. I mean, a little less than that, but I'm going to need some, some pre-recorded material for February. Um, and I, I do have stuff on the way, um, but also, you know, some stuff is just like uh, difficult to plan for, I should say. Um, I, don't, I don't particularly have super concrete plans yet. I'm going to have to be planning it out when I get home back in January. Um, but... It is something that I'm super excited for. Um, you know, uh, I, I will also make videos uh, of my holiday. I'm off to Australia. Um, maybe I can talk with Glider. Maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely do some, some... I'll be active still in February, so I won't be going. Um, some videos will be recorded, but some videos I will also actually film. Um, probably featuring a ballad song that you will see soon um, on the channel. Um, but yeah, we got, uh, we've got... I believe four, four knives, maybe five, I think, coming on the channel soon. Um, I say maybe five just because um, I want to see if I can maybe organize getting that brand new titanium, channel titanium bare bones thing. Um, it's kind of like a clone. It is a clone, technically, but it's also like a redesign. Um, this is also pretty tasty water. Um, I just like it because it's very fizzy. Um, But yeah, that new titanium bare bones thing looks super interesting. Um, and I really would like to get one. Um, they are currently $200, which is kind of like, wow. But um, I may be able to, I don't know, loan one, lease one, borrow one for a pass around or something. Um, you know, just, just get one in my hands. Um which is hopefully something that I'm very excited for, especially because then I can also anodize that and have a nice, like, bare bones uh, or something. 
you know, just something, just something different. Um, but yeah, advertising shop in about March time, kind of early, early to mid March, ideally. That's that's the hope, I should say. Um, possibly late March, but that's when it would be opening up soon. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. Uh, it'll be fully Europe wide. It'll basically be you pay for shipping, uh, both ways. Um, and obviously the anodizing will be fairly cheap, um, obviously, just because in the UK, especially, at least, uh, we don't really have people uh, who can, I mean, I imagine unless you go to some big kind of corporation company thing that will do stuff for you, uh, but then also anodizing illegal knives, that's, uh, you know, that's uh, well, I guess some of them might be illegal, but obviously a lot of them will also be trainers. Um, but I guess some people will have illegal knives, you know, but um, anodizing uh, battle songs is something that I don't think many companies would want to touch. Um, but also, I also just plan on doing other knife customizations. So if you have like some folders or stuff, I'm happy to do like acid washes, stone washes. Um, I will eventually, probably not immediately, but also I will eventually be offering entropic anos, um, and things like that. And like Damascus etches and uh, things like that. Just all sorts of really cool, cool stuff to, to offer as a, as a, as a thing. Eventually I'll even learn how to do like the distressed... Uh, black anodizations on titanium, right, with like magnesium sulfate. I can't exactly remember what is the the acid you need to to etch in, but um, yeah, there's there's some cool chemistry stuff there, right? We're gonna have to cook like Walter, um, but yeah, basically, I'm just letting you guys know in advance so you can build up the hype. You know, like the video, follow, subscribe, more, share, comment, get all of that, get the hype going, right? If you're in, uh, you know, kind of, if you're in Europe anywhere. Or if you're in the UK, or even if you're in the States and you just like my work, um, I'm happy to do some anodizations for you. I plan on having kind of pro-level anodizations uh, available. Uh, and I will be showing off some of the stuff in, in January, kind of uh, my, my, my progress, I should say, in January. Maybe pre-record it for February. Um, because there's a few things I need to take care of first. Um, it's definitely not at the top of my priority list right now. And the reason why I'm saying in March is because my January is already quite busy. Um, but yeah, that's, that's basically, if you want to know what's the future of the channel, we'll be having some more anodized content soon. Um, also some rep content is coming soon. Um, what else is coming soon? Um, yeah, we've got some all sorts of cool stuff. Um, I got a Zippo for Christmas, which is like super awesome. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll make a little video on that. But yeah, basically 2024, at least the beginning, the first couple of months are looking super exciting. Um... And, you know, it'll be, like, the one-year anniversary of, of Balotong Tactic, I guess, um, in February, March time. So, actually, that's quite um, wholesome, you know. After a year of actually engaging with the community, you know, I'll actually have some proper... Not proper, but I'll, I'll be offering a service um, more than just video creation, you know, because, obviously, I, I don't put a crazy amount of time into filming my videos. Um, it's usually unscripted. And I mean, I don't necessarily mean to offer this as buying advice, but I think it, it is what I would offer in terms of my personal recommendations as to what I think is good and what I think, uh, you know, works out as, um, as, as something to buy, right? Like, for example, I wouldn't recommend this unless you really have nothing else to get. Same thing with the Armshark Kraken, which is, you know, I have a pretty unique, maybe not unique, but I have a pretty niched balance preference, right? And so I think balance songs that I enjoy, uh, and I'm also quite sensitive to the balance of a balance song, right? Um, I think, so balance songs I enjoy probably won't be what the majority of people will enjoy in terms of what they like in a balance preference, but also there will be a, a, a large group of people that do still, because, you know, in the balance, in the balance song hobby, there's, there's a lot that people can enjoy. For example, um, you know, I enjoy my serif with the Tanto blade and no weights. Uh, because I love how nimble, uh, and it's not even about the nimbleness, I just love that it's lightweight, still carries momentum, and feels super easily manipulable. Manipulatable? Manipulable? Whatever that word is, right? I can't remember right now. I've been speaking Polish for like the past week and a half. Um, I don't speak very much English lately, um, and so, you know, thinking in English is, is one of those things. Um, but yeah, um, Whatever I was saying before, you know, I enjoy my Serif in a, in a pretty uncommon configuration. Uh, this is one of the reasons I also really just like machine-wise products. Same thing with the Cygnus. I like the stock Cygnus. I think the WZM Cygnus had a, you know, superior balance. I think the Cygnus Trainer 
was nice, but it was it was a bit it was a bit funky. Um, but also, I also do quite like you know like the Prisma with a Tanto blade and no weights. You know, although I do prefer how it flips with the weights, it's much more competitive. I also enjoy that fun aspect of with no weights. I also prefer the Damascus blade, which is you know one gram, pretty evenly spaced, heavier on the Damascus blade on the one tsunami, and, um, excuse me, than uh, any of any of the other variants that are there. Um, so you know, I have a pretty niche preference, but I'm hoping that that will at least inform you guys. Um, as to what battle songs are kind of like, because obviously, for example, the Armshark Kraken, really not my style. However, by the way, for people who have been wanting a DLC Kraken video, um, what I can say is uh, maybe not DLC, but just as relevant, uh, maybe in in the coming weeks. Uh, not, definitely not immediately, um, but something I'd like to, to do. But, um, you know, ow! Yeah, that's why, that's why you have this as a... Uh, as a, as a trainer, and the combs really do tell you when you land on the wrong side. Um, anyways, yeah, I'm going to keep this video short. Basically, channel is exciting. I'm back. Never really went anywhere. I mean, we're basically still on schedule, right? After, like, the four Chris three Christmas videos I uploaded, you know, uh, Boxing Day, Christmas, and uh, Day Before and Christmas Eve, you know, and we had our scheduled Friday video, and now we're going to have our scheduled Sunday video. So, I will see you in 2024, but that's because... If I check the time, um, I believe it is, you know, the last day of 2023, um, which is kind of spooky. Um, I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm mentally prepared for 2024, but uh, it is what it is, right? So I'll catch you guys definitely in the next one. Um, this video's already gone a bit longer than I wanted to be too. But um, I guess I like, I miss talking, I guess. Not really. I, I don't talk crazy, like, in person. And uh, I'm definitely not doing any sort of new tricks. However, one thing I have found annoyed by this is, right, like, I've still been kind of doing... Oh my goodness, other than that, keeps happening, right? Like, it's like kind of Z-Chokers, you know? Like, it, it kind of does. I'm, I'm not going to try, but yeah, it, it kind of, it's really annoying. The first time I tried to do a Z-Choker on it, I did it. Um, which is, like, really annoying because I, I can't do it on some of my other battle songs. But still getting used to that, um, that whole, this, because that's the motion, right? It's it's this weird, um, well, it's not a weird motion, but it, it's it's kind of odd with the battle song on that side of your finger. But I guess it's not too different from the, um, and it's that plus a wrist. It's that whole this, right? It's still got that that motion. But um, yeah. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Um, and I'll see you all later. Peace.